Hey, what's up? This is part two, physical geography of Africa. Uh, about the same amount of slides, hopefully about the same amount of time. Uh, get it in your brain. So, uh, we're talking here. Hold on. Got my, my, my brother, my uh, son back in the back. Sorry for that interruption. Last slide, we talked about the minerals, and now we're talking about other resources in Africa. Uh, again, an, a, a continent with many countries who could uh, benefit from all these resources, but some don't have the ability to get the stuff out of the ground and sell it and make a profit. Some do, some don't. Other resources, Libya, Nigeria, Algeria, world leaders in oil. That's all North Africa. Okay, mostly North Africa. Um, tons of oil up there. They have that opportunity to make that money. Angola and uh, Gabon have huge untapped oil reserves, meaning they have oil on the ground. They can't get to it. 7% of the world's oil comes from these four, four countries. Um, that's a lot of oil. Angola has enough to surpass Nigeria as Africa's most oil-rich country, but it uses little money or little oil money to improve its infrastructure. So basically what it's saying is they have this uh, vast amount of oil, this vast amount of money coming in, but they don't improve their infrastructure, meaning someone's getting it in their pocket and spending it, and the people don't ever, the people as a whole don't get to uh, enjoy the benefits of a uh, such a powerful item for the economy. Coffee. Africa is the second most profitable commodity. Uh, is coffee, okay? Commodity meaning commodity meaning an item used to uh, export to make money. Uh, Twenty percent of the world's supply comes from Africa. Agriculture. A lot of folks do subsistence farming, which is just enough to make food for their families. Uh, Sixty-six percent are farmers. Uh, one third of Africa's exports are farm products. Deserts of Africa, the biggest, the baddest, is the Sahara. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Largest desert in the world, stretches 3,000 miles across. Temperatures vary from extremely hot in the summer to below freezing at night during the winter. 20% uh, of the Sahara is sand, towering mountains, rock formations, gravelly plains make up the other portions. Uh, the two other deserts that you need to know about here in Africa, Kalahari and the Nabib, which is all in the southern part of Africa. Uh, the travel should be obvious in deserts, uh, very risky uh, without water. Uh, they use camels as transportation. They can go a little further without water, 17 days exactly without water. Um, many aquifers create, o create oasises in the deserts and these little spots of water and vegetation, vegetation throughout the desert. Um, There's a picture of a large sandstorm in Africa. You can see these towering, uh, just clouds of sand rolling through. What fun is that? Rainfall. Rainforest in Central Africa rains year-round. It's a tropical rain area. Tons of rain running through. Uh, most of the rest of Africa, one or two rainy seasons. Uh, tropical savanna, middle of the continent. Half the total surface of Africa is a tropical savanna. The rainy season lasts up to six months, so it's extremely uh, wet for those six months. All right, um, closer to the equator, longer the rainy, rainy season. Should be kind of obvious. The west coast receives a lot of rain. Sahara and other parts, other deserts, may not get rainfall for many years. That's what makes it a desert. Mediterranean climate up the northern and southern tips uh, of the continent. Uh, and this bottom part, you can't read it, but rain falls usually only in wintertime. That's something about the Mediterranean climate of those areas so I'm sorry I can't read that last part of the slide hey McCoy that's my other son up here plant life tropical grasslands all over most of the continent the one of the more famous plains of the air is the Serengeti uh, the Serengeti plains in Tanzania uh, hard soil dry climate prevent trees and many crops from growing in this area nice flat even play when you see a lot of shows on Discovery Channel on uh, an animal planet you see them a lot on the Serengeti uh, grasslands are ideal for grazing. Lots of places, a lot of food to uh, house a bunch of animals. If you hear this weird breathing in the background, it's my youngest son, who's a little congested. Yeah, you say dada, 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 dada. 
Yeah. If you know, that's the weird breathing you got going on in the background. The Congo Basin, rainforest, home to many aspects of plants and animals. Uh, hot, moist, plants quickly decompose. Um, most of your animals in the rainforest live in the canopy, which is the uppermost layer of the branches, 150 feet above the ground, such as birds, monkeys, flying foxes, snakes, things like that, um, where a lot of the animals live. Uh, to cut down some of these trees, some of these rainforests to create more farmland, farmers use the slash and burn method, which we talked about before, cutting down the trees and burning the area, and hopefully creating a flat land after that. Uh, which is the reason for the uh, endangering of the rainforest. Here's some pictures of some animals. Here's some bats we're looking at here. Some bats. Here's a uh, corba snake. Another big python. Or a boa constrictor. I think it's a python. Uh, Desertification of the Sahil. We talked about the Sahil a little bit. The shore of the desert, which is the band of uh, dry grassland on the edge of the desert, runs south. On the southern edge of the Sahara, it's kind of the transition zone between this desert and the other grasslands. Uh, it's used for farming and herding. Uh, desertification itself is the expansion of dry conditions into normally uh, <laughs> into normally uh, moist areas. Overgrazing of vegetation and uh, the, of the animals tends to expose the soil, leading to desertification. Animals trample the other plants down. Uh, farmers expose the soil to the wind. Next thing you know, you've got all kinds of uh, desert spreading throughout the area. Desertification is destroying parts of Africa uh, because of all these different things that are uh, causing it to happen. Environmental problems in Nigeria. The Niger Delta contains most of Nigeria's oil. Okay. It's the sixth leading oil producer in the world. Oil accounts for 80 to 90 percent of Nigeria's income. That means a lot of money comes from oil. Mismanagement, poor planning, corruption, and a decline in prices over the years have left Nigeria poorer than before the oil boom. Imagine that. Before they discovered oil, which is a product that makes tons and tons of people tons and tons of money, they were more off the people are more better off prior to finding oil than after finding oil it's crazy if you think about it but corruption and mismanagement will do that to you they have severe environmental problems uh, over th 4,000 spills in the last four decades uh, cleanup has been slow fires have started uh, acid rains happen because of these fires tons of problems pipeline explosions and then People working for the corrupt government and military drain the fuel and then resell it for their own purposes. So there's a lot of issues in Nigeria regarding the oil, which should be a profitable commodity for this country. This last slide we're going to fly through. We talked about this before, controlling the Nile River. Uh, they built the dams, the first one in 1902, the second one in 1970 to help control uh, the severe flooding that happens uh, from time to time on the Nile River. Uh, has benefits, has some negative things, uh, but that's issues that we've all talked about. Sorry, hold on one second. You're looking at a picture of the Aswan High Dam right here in front of you. Okay, river going out one side, the lake on the other. Uh, used for hydroelectricity and controlling the floods. Another picture here. Here are the problems that we've already talked about. Uh, we talked about uh, North Africa a few weeks ago. People are relocated, treasures and temples were lost, uh, fertility of the soils down, all that kind of stuff. Uh, all cause issues for the area. This is part two of Physical Geography of Africa. Hope you dig it. Hey, hope you like this. This is my son McCoy. Say hi. Hello. You gonna say hi? No? Hope you like it. Um, quiz to come. Soon after this on uh, Edmodo, uh, make sure you watch this stuff. Learn it. See you guys.